So our example 4 concerns with acetone and ethanol mixture going through a distillation column. So let me read the question. Acetone and ethanol are separated using a distillation column with a partial and partial condenser and a partial reboiler. An equimolar subcooled liquid feed enters and condenses one mole of vapor for every six moles of feed. The separation requires a distillate vapor that is 95 mole percent acetone and bottoms liquid that is 5 mole percent acetone. Reflux, oh sorry, this is not reflux ratio. L over V liquid over vapor is equal to 1.4 times L over V minimum. So it's also saying that we need to assume constant overflow conditions. So the reason why I did this is because reflux ratio is not equal to L over V. Reflux ratio is equal to L over D. And there's also an interesting word, an equimolar feed. That means equimolar is, means similar moles. So there are two components. So it basically means it's coming 50%, 50 percent, 50 50 percent of acetone and ethanol. And for this example, acetone is the more volatile component, so we are using the mole fractions for the acetones. So let's draw our flow diagram. So feed is going in. They have not told us what is XF. Oh no, they did. Equimolar, so 50%, so that means 0 0.5. And distillate. For distillate, XD is equal to 0 0.95. W, XW is equal to 0 0.05. So let's draw them on our graph. X, D, and equimolar means X, F, 0.5, and X, W, 0 0.05. So we have our three dots on our diagonal line. So now we need to firstly be concerned with the Q line. So as we know Q line equation is Q Q over Q minus 1 times X minus X F over Q minus 1. So Q, once again I want to remind you, it's a feed quality indication of how much of our feed is liquid or vapor. So for our example, we need to find Q. We have this information where feed is coming in and it's subcooled liquid so everything feed is equal to LF. It's all liquid, 100% liquid. And for the vapor, feed this is zero because feed is all of them is liquid so it's going down when it enters the plate of the distillation column so vapor is going up liquid is going down so we need to denote what is below the plate as V bar and L bar vapor going up liquid going down so there's also a equation where Q is equal to L bar minus L over F. So this is the indication of how much 
is the liquid for on the feet. So as we can see from this diagram, we can say that L bar is equal to L plus F. L plus F. Also, in our question, it said to us that one mole of vapor for every six moles of feet is going to be condensed. So, we can add this. So, from here, we can say L bar minus L is equal to F plus 1 over 6F, which is 7 over 6F. So this, we can put inside this equation. Q is equal to 7 over 6F over F. So Q is equal to 7 over 6. So when we put this into our equation for the Q line over here, we get y equals to 7 over 6, 7 over 6 minus 1, x minus, xf is 0 0.5, so this is going to be y equals to 7x minus 3. So this is our Q line equation, slope equation. So we need to draw this on our diagram. So since we know that one of the intercept is 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, we need to find what is another intercept. So we can take, for example, x is equal to 0 0.55, then what happens, y is equal to 0 0.85. So one of the intercept is this, and one of the intercept is 0 0.55. Sorry, 0 0.55. Zero point fifty five and zero point eighty five is so this equation needs to this point needs to connect with this. So now this is our our Q line. So next we need to find our top operating line. Top operating line equation is denoted as L over V times X D over V times XD. So, as we know, we can find what is L min and V min. And uh, the way we find it is basically when we when we basically intercept it with the uh, VLE diagram with the VLE vapor liquid equilibrium line and the Q line. So that means we're going to be intercepting this point. So what is this point? This point is 0 0.7 for the Y and for the X it will be 0.553. 
0 0.53 so this point is the point where it is it will be used for the for to find L minimum and V minimum so since this is the slope we need to find the slope of this line. So slope of this line, one of the intercepts is 0 0.95 and 0 0.95. 0 0.95 and 0 0.53, 0 0.70. So we need to find the slope. You know this slope equation. slope equation is basically the difference between y and difference between x the distances so 0 0.95 minus 0 0.70 over 0 0.95 minus 0 0.53 so what will be our answer so this will be 0 0.25 and 0 0.95 minus 0.53 is equal to 0 0.42. So 0 0.25 over 0 0.42 is 0 0.60. So that means L over V minimum is equal to 0 0.60. And in our problem statement, we have that L over V is equal to 1.4 times L over V minimum. So now we know what is L over V times 1.4. Times 1.4 is 0 0.83. So we can now put L over V into our equation. Q, uh, not Q, top operating line equation. But we also need to find what is D over V. So D over V will be found really easily because we know that V is equal to L plus D. As you know, vapor is going up, a liquid is going down, and D is distillate going down. So what is going up is going to return as L or D. So V is equal to L plus D. So if we divide this by L, V over L over 1 plus, okay, let's divide it by V actually. 1 equal to L over V plus D over V. So D over V is equal to 1 minus L over V. And we know what is L over V. It's 0 0.83. So what happens? 1, 7. 0 0.17. So now we have this. And now we have this. We can put them into our equation. So Y is equal to 0 0.83 X plus 0 0.17 times 0 0.95 because y is equal to L over V X plus D over V X D and X D is 0 0.95 so what is this? this is our y intercept and it is equal to 0 0.17 times 0.95 0 0.16 so our y-intercept is 0 0.16 0 0.16 we can find here my ruler is not enough to be honest
Yes, I did it. So this is our top operating line. And this is our um, XD over R plus one. So this is our Y intercept in a different form, which is D over V times XD, which is equal to 0 0.12. Oh, actually it's 0 0.12, right? So it should be a little bit lower. This is 0 0.1, this is 0 0.5, no, 1, 5, so this is 2, 5, so this is here. 0 0.12 I need a bigger Okay, this is our top operating line. And this is our intercept and our bottom operating line will be connected through here. So our operating lines will be like so. You can draw like this in order to exactly know where to draw. So now we count the stages. So you have to go through until the bottom operating line. So I did a little bit wrong way. This is not right. So let's count one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then theoretical stages, and in our equation, it's saying that it has a partial condenser and a partial reboiler. So we have to minus 1 and minus 1 for the condenser and reboiler so the actual stage number is 8 actual tray number so theoretical stages and equilibrium stages or ideal stages they mean all the same Ideal equilibrium theoretical.